Hi guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing another plan with me in my B6 Traveler's Notebook. Um, hopefully I have up this um, video with my new um, TN from Mystic's Little Gifts. But yeah, let's figure out where we are. So this is a look back at the current week. It's Thursday, so, and this was a printable kit from Planning Choco that I used. And we are going to be planning the week of March 19th through the 25th. Um, this happens to be the week of my youngest baby's birthday. So I'm gonna pop out my inserts and move that out of the way. So his birthday is actually on Sunday, the 25th. So I am using this kit. It's another printable kit. It's also from Planning Choco. And I, um, this was the kit I used in my How I Cut My Printables video, which I will also link in the iCard if you're interested in that. So I did cut some of the things out that I don't typically use. It's a very big kit. Um, so I'm going to be using that this week for Rowan's birthday. And I had thought that I would, that it would be kind of fun to keep everything neutral except for the full boxes. So I pulled a bunch of other like neutral color things to use, but we'll see how that works. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put down the date covers and um, and then I pulled all of this like washi to use so we'll kind of see what happens with that. So I'm going to put down the date covers and I will be right back. Okay, so I have switched over into voiceover as I usually do and I am putting down the date covers. I decided to go ahead and use these neutral brush stroke ones from Paper Crown Planner, which is a printable shop. No surprise there. <laughs> I'm kind of all over the place because, like I said, I thought it would be fun or look good to um, bring out the neutrals in the kit since all of the little things from the kit were gray. But that means I had to pull in um, stuff from other places. So I was kind of unsure as to how it would turn out until basically I was finished with it. So um, these glitter headers are left over um, from a beautiful planning kit that I used a few weeks ago. And I'm flipping back to see how I set my sidebar up because I didn't have, or I didn't think that I had any neutral sidebar things. Um, of course, after I finished filming this, I found, um, like some gray habit trackers and a gray weekly ombre box and um yeah so and then i'm going to pull in those black 
glitter headers, um, which I think I actually got them from Planning Choco. I can't remember. And I'm just going to use that gray flag. Um, also from Planning Choco, which if you're into printables, um, they have some really great just like functional items, multicolor in their shop. Um, so that's where that is from. And then the little coffee character sticker is from I Love to Print to mark my Monday morning coffee. And then I'm going in with the first full box. <laughs> And then a glitter header and then that's just a YouTube little thing from the kit to mark this video hopefully going up on Monday And then that quarter box to mark um, just like activity time with Rowan on Monday. So I'm trying to, um, like Tuesdays and Thursdays, he has school. So I want to try um, to focus on us doing something on Monday and Wednesday to kind of round that out. And then I cut down those flags that I had left over from an old kit from um, Paper Dow Shop. And then I just have the to-do script header and those are from Paper and Gumption. And you can see me checking my TV app um, on my phone. To mark my shows, which I have The Resident, which comes on Monday. Um, which if you are, I don't really love medical dramas um, because people die too much. Like It's a hospital, so that's what you expect. But um and then I'm just putting down the pencil to mark Rowan school. Um, but if you watched the Gilmore Girls and liked Logan, which I didn't like him, but I mean, he was like every like guy that you shouldn't like, like arrogant and like whatever, spoiled, which makes him all the more attractive. Um, and then he was also Carrie in The Good Wife, which I love that show, but he plays the resident on the show, so there's that. Anyway, for Tuesday, I have the pencil down to Mark Rowan's school, and then I have these like oversized laptops, which I love. They're from Wild Summer Design. Um, I'm going to use Tuesday morning to do some stuff for my blog um, while Rowan is at school. And then I have a little thing to mark a blog post that I'm hoping should be ready. I just, I've written the post and I've already started editing the pictures, but I have so many more to go through. So, and then my three heart checklist after the full box with a to-do header. <laughs> And then I think I just put down um, another TV little thing to mark Black Lightning on Tuesday. And 
and then I start out with a full box on Wednesday. And then another video little thing uh, to mark a video going up. And then a glitter quarter box. Um, to mark a play date, which I think I'm like looking for the sticker, but yeah, our plans are kind of all over the place because I need to try to pull things together for his party. And if you like have a small child, you understand that like trying to like plan come together with like a concrete plan and like get the decorations and the house clean and like all of that stuff is really difficult when they're home with you all the time um so just like the baby shower i'm sure things <laughs> will come together on friday because i don't have a choice the party is on saturday so And then I just have um, that midweek spread script sticker from Beautiful Planning and I put down a um, like solid color gray, which was a free printable um, half box to mark all of my shows on Wednesday because there are like five of them, which is completely ridiculous, but... And then I'm going to go in with the glitter flag and um, this girl holding your client cup of coffee on Thursday because I will um, try to knock some of the party to-do list out while Rowan is in school Thursday morning. And then I'm going in with another full box and a glitter header. And then a quarter box to mark um, that I need to do some editing on videos on Thursday as well. I thought it would be fun to, I don't have like a ton of character stickers. Um, I have some Fox and Pip girls, which I haven't used in forever. I need to use those. Um, and then I have some that are like printables, but like all of these, um, ones that I am using right now I thought it would be fun to use them because they're black and white and they're kind of um, not necessarily cartoony but I felt like it went with the vibe of this kit so and then I just have my three heart checklist at the bottom And I'm going in with a full box, one of, which is one of my favorite full boxes in the kit. And then another half box. Um, my husband took Friday off. So um, I'm sure we'll probably do something with Rowan in the morning. 
which is why I put that full box down. And I think I was just trying to figure out like if I needed more space to add other things in. Um, and now I am trying to figure out my whole sidebar situation. So I put one of the quote boxes because there are several in this kit, but I love this one with the little like marquee sign that's super popular right now. Um, and then a glitter header and I'm going to, I didn't have a weekly ombre box, so I just used all of the meal little things to like create the box. Um, and I think I'm searching for my meal script stick layer to layer over that glitter header. So yeah, I'm putting all of the meal little things just down in a row. Which I love that everything in this kit, like all of the functional thing or little things are gray. Um, it's just one of my favorite colors, which I'm not even sure if it's an actual like color, but and then I'm trying to think like I don't have any packages coming and um, since I didn't have any habit trackers that went with this um, I decided to just do all of that um, in my pocket TN so I didn't need to track anything over there and I think I'm looking for um, so I have these on repeat stickers. Um, ooh, I don't know where those are from. I think they're from Paper and Gumption, um, which I guess is for like music that you might be listening to, but I'm using it to mark down my audiobook this week. Um, and then, yeah, I didn't, couldn't think of anything else that I needed to put over there. So I flipped over to the weekend and this is where things get kind of dicey because I thought like, oh, this would be great to use this, all of this black and white washi and do like a washi banner, um, which is what I think I'm talking about right here. And just trying to figure out the ones that I want to use. Okay. Um, so I start putting it down and I actually think that like if I would have left it with like those dots and maybe something else it would have been okay. So I do it off camera because it's so like labor intensive and kind of annoying. And then I decide to put the glitter headers on top and put the weekend banner over it. Um, and then I put the double, there's like the double party box um, at the bottom across Friday and Saturday. And then I put the quarter box down to mark his actual birthday, which I can't believe my baby will be for. And then I have that happy birthday um, sticker 
with the girl holding balloons, and those are both from I Love to Print. And then I put one of the tall boxes over that um, grateful, I think it says like, oh, a happy thought in notes. So I add a piece of coordinating washi to make it a little bit longer and then put down a glitter header because um, I've been using that little section to mark um, just things I'm grateful for that week and I really like how that's been working. Um, and then I use the thin washi from the kit across the bottom of those two pages. And if I'd been thinking about it, I would have printed extra. And then I remember that I use like waterproof mat and you have to cut it, you can't really rip it. <laughs> and I keep pointing out that I'm not sure about how I feel um, about that washi banner. Like I feel like it's too dark. Now, which now looking back, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but it just felt like too much for me. And I keep like, it keeps catching my eye and I think I don't like this. Um, so I use that leftover piece of washi in across the priorities box where I mark my um, stats for YouTube and YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> So you can see, I just decided to pull it up because it I didn't like the way that it looked ultimately. Um, and then I'm just putting a half box and some deco from the kit to mark the party. And then I am going um, across the, the um, first two pages with some washi that is really, um, I mean, I think I got it when I first got into planning and I'm like 99% sure it's from Michaels, but I decided I liked that pop of color across the bottom of the other page. So this was the only washi I had that kind of had those same colors in it. Um, so I use that and it's a little bit long, so I'm trimming it or attempting to. And yeah, I like the way that that looks. So I'm going in with a little bit of deco from the kit since I don't really have anything else that I need to put in the sidebar. I filled in some of the to-dos that I need to happen and my stats section. And you, I mean, I have so much of this kit left um, that I'm going to use it um, in a memory keeping spread for his birthday week, but yeah, and I have plenty, you know, if I need to add some stuff, I can. So thank you for watching. Um, as usual, if you want to see how the spread turns out throughout the week, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>